Hello, fearless gamers, and welcome back to another episode of The Joy of Painting Minis. And we are still working on Cypher here. What we did last time is we painted up the plasma pistol to a um, state where it's pretty much done. And then we glued his arm on and we started to work on this skull. Though we did make a few little mistakes here and there was a little imperfection I had to fix up. So we are going to need to do some touch-ups later. But for right now, I'm going to continue with painting up that skull. So I'm going to start with a wash. And for again, I forgot already. The following paints that we'll be using are listed now on your screen. And let us begin with painting up this model first using a shade to help with the skull's detail. And again, like I said before, the purpose of giving this skull here is to give Cypher a little bit of a, um, of a, um, chaos -y look while maintaining a Dark Angel-like theme. There we go. Now we're going to wait for that to dry, and while we do, we will move on to something else. And I stoopingly, between episodes, forgot to go and grab the color that I need to highlight the plasma pistol, so we will push this aside for now. Go away, Cypher. No one likes you. And we'll work on his backpack. So, first I'm going to paint up the um, metal bits here, which will be taking our usual metal color that we've been using, because I like simplicity. Because then there's less paints paint colors I have to remember when I if I happen to do more of the same model. Though I don't plan on painting multiple ciphers, it's still good to keep everything consistent. So we're gonna paint this little wings on his backpack here. Oops. Painted the hand a little bit. Not too bad. Okay, so we go in here. And then we're going to go paint the other side here. And we're just painting up the little wings here. Um, if there was anything that I would love to do is buy... I don't know if they still allow it. Um, I might have to check, but they actually sold for a while. I think you, they, you could still do it. Cypher's backpack by itself. and Because it, it counted as a different... Like, they called it something else, so I guess it was part of a unit. 
that they used to sell and Cypher was given the same jet the same backpack because it fit the theme and but they still sell the backpack and I would always think that would be really cool to um, get a bunch of them when if and make a fallen unit for him which I plan on making the fallen unit just for the data just for the um, formation for my chaos forces um, and have them all having these matching backpacks because then it's like you know kind of fits a whole theme you know the whole that they're all you know part of the same group type of thing Okay. And then just one more bit and then we can move on to the skeleton guy, which we're going to pretty much do the same thing that we did to his chest to the chest skeleton. Though now that I'm use the wash a little bit, hopefully it'll go a little bit smoother than last time. Just paint this up and over. Now, one thing that um, I'll mention here is is what I find a lot of people um, at, at my hobby shop talking about is how they don't have a steady hand. You know, they their hands shake too much. Well, I used to have the same issue, and what I would do to help improve my um shaky hand issues when I was using a brush was if I could I'd place the model down or prip it or hold it up with a um, clamp or something and then with my brush um, I would take this and then I would grab my hand like this and it would keep my hand very sturdy it would sh it would stop shaking as much and eventually my hand got so steady that I didn't need to um use the brush anymore. Um, hold my hand anymore to do it. So, let's see, gonna do this, grab the dwarf bronze and color here, and paint up this skeleton here. And And paint this up a little better. And then there's some parts of this model I can tell the mold needs to be redone or at least cleaned out because his rib cage detail is not as sharp. Um, that's one thing I'll give Finecast also is it seems to leave the molds cleaner so the details are a lot crisper than um, normally. Though again, I understand why not a lot of people like the fine cast, but I like said in a couple of, like in one or two videos that I did before I actually enjoy it. Um, I don't have any problem with the fine cast. I've had some issues with it, but that's what customer service is for. And they have always given me no hassle with fixing the issues, though, because of a lot of people exploiting GW's great customer service 
we now all run a risk of getting put on a you know don't service list if you just have so if you just happen to have a run of bad luck because someone else was exploiting the um, call list they now will dis um, they won't hesitate to um put you on the you know on the blacklist as I for lack of a better word for getting services for issues that you have like I said they've never given me any hassle and I've only had to replace one fine cast model in the hole that I have purchased fine cast Okay, now that is done. We are going to add a little final touch up to the um, model, to the um, backpack piece that I missed because I thought it was part of his hand and I was wrong. And then we'll go on to a wash on this. And then we'll jump back to Cypher himself. Okay, so paint up this piece here. Okay. So. All right. So there is the backpack, as is painted right now. So we are going to now put a wash over the whole model to get the area the, to help with shading the model. That's what I like about the shades is is makes for easy, easy, um, shadows and highlighting naturally and in some cases depending on the color you're going for you could just go with a base coat and then a wash and then be done So, that is now all set and ready. So while we wait for that to dry, we can go back to Cypher and finish painting up his shoulder pad here. And there is someone who just texted me. Um, 
So, give me one moment. Let us get Cypher in here and we shall begin painting him right now. Matt the vet here and it looks like that we had a little bit of a technical problem. Um, I started recording not realizing the memory card was full so I just went through a whole bunch of stuff and none of it recorded. So I'm gonna go quickly over what I did real quick to try and catch us up to speed here. So what I first did, I'm gonna put that out of the way, is on Cypher here, I, after the, um, after I put the, um, shade on and it dried, I painted up the, um, skull in a bleach bone to, with leaving some of the, um, highlights done, that way it kind of had a very dark angel-y look with that, but also could be pass, pass for chaos. And I then did some small edge highlighting of white around the skull, um, like the ridges and the eye holes and the curves of the piece. And while that was being taken care of, I then took the backpack here, painted the um, model bits here silver, uh, metal bit, then I painted this bronze, um, dwarven bronze, gave it all a dark wash, and then I washed it all with that um, technical paint on um, the oxidized um, paint there. And after I went over it, I did a quick coat with the bronze, with the with the dwarven bronze again, just so the detail was a little bit more apparent. Because before it just looked like a giant green blob. Now with this, you could actually see the um, the rib cages and bits, and it actually looks like the model may or may have been, you know, th weathered in some way, shape, or form. So, that's where we stand with that. So now we're going to continue on with this project from this point, and I'm gonna roughly guess, so this episode may be a little bit longer, or it may be a little bit shorter, because I'm gonna guess as to how much time is left here. And so, let us begin. What I'm going to do is, is gonna let that gonna put that to the side there because I'm almost ready to put that on but first I want to fix these little imperfections here so going to take some chaos black where's my black 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 but I don't want it too thick There and paint that there. Okay. So then gonna allow that to dry. And while I do, I'm going to put on his backpack. Because now I can get away with putting it on. So that unless I spot any other imperfections on him. Nope, so let us move on to putting on his backpack before I go into any highlights. So, gonna do this. Whoa, really thick. Good thing I caught that when I did. Again, super thick coming out. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be little tango with me in the Jar of paint, jar of glue, just gonna do this. Boom. Get a nice bit there, and then get that backpack right on. Okay. There we go. So now he's got his backpack on. And there's one thing I like to I really like about Space Marines is is I like backpacks. I think they are really cool and I like their design and what their purpose for. You know, I like the whole concept that it's their battery pack that charge it that powers up their armor and everything. I always thought that was a cool concept. And so while that is gluing I can see that the black has dried so I will then retouch it up with the shade 
that I used before to color the armor. Okay. So now, Cypher is almost done. So all we have left to do is, is do some highlights on the gun, and the gloves, and the leather, some bits of the chain, um, his two his other shoulder pad bits, the sword, and then the robes. And once that's all ready and set, then he'll be done, and we can finally move on to another model, which I'm sure everybody will be glad about, because this has probably been going on for a while. I may post... I might end up posting two or three of these episodes at once, just so you guys don't have to wait so long, because it is quite a while that we've been working on this model. And so, we're going to do this, and now I'm going to work on this little plaque piece here. And I'm going to... I'm going to decide what I wanted to color that. But I'm going to then, I guess, let's see here. Is there anything else we can work on that can avoid being... I'll add the highlights to the backpack. That's what I can do. So get this color out. Throw this on here. Oops, this is the wrong paint. And then we're just dabbing. the color onto the bits here, and I see there's a chip in his paint, so I'm gonna have to work on that. Okay, now. Do again, little edge highlights here to help just make the model pop a bit. Then keep going. Okay, so now his backpack is finished, except for the dark green highlights. And we are now going to move on to... We will paint this plate here, because I don't think there's any others, so... I'm going to make this a dark metal color, because he's got a lot of bright metal pieces on him, so I think it would benefit from having some dark colors around him right now. Uh, 
Okay. Now, now we got that done. And with that, I'm going to end the video here because, again, don't know how much time actually I was up to. I may be over my normal. So, again, I apologize for that. And hopefully next time I won't make such a big screw up as, as I did this week. So, thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, fearless gamers, take care.